Hi everybody. This is uh, our reading for Wednesday. We're going to start at Mark. Excuse me. Mark 14, number 32, and we're going to go until Mark uh, 14, number 51. When they had sung the hymn, oh, sorry, they went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, my soul is deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. He came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same. And once more he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough! The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up! Let us be going. Look! My betrayer is at hand. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests, scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid their hands on him and arrested him. But one of those who stood near drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to them, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I was a rebel? I were a rebel? Day after day I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But let the scriptures be fulfilled. All of them deserted and fled. A certain young man was following him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth. They caught hold of him, but he left the linen cloth and ran off naked. That's the reading for today, for Wednesday. So there's a couple of really interesting things in here. Gethsemane. Gethsemane is actually at the, the foot of Mount Olive. It's facing Jerusalem. And if you go there, there are olive trees still living, that were alive during the time of Jesus. I've seen them. I've taken the pictures of them. And what is believed, and I say believed to be the garden where Jesus prayed, is now fenced off so you cannot access it. Um, and you can see where you have this garden back here, and in the front, this is where... Uh, uh, Peter, James, and John would have been. And it's kind of a slope. And it's nice and grassy. It's, it's very cool there. Uh, not cold, but very cool at nighttime. So you can see why they would possibly fall asleep after a long day. Remember, they're walking two miles to and two miles back from uh, Jerusalem on a daily basis. Now, I have I was doing a thing in the... Uh, summer and the, the fall, and I'm about to start it back up again, where I would walk five miles a day. So I can tell you, 
all that walking, it does tucker you out. And remember, I'm walking on things that are paved. I'm not walking over hills and mountains and things like that. The other thing is, he knows. He knows exactly who his betrayer is. You know? <clears throat> and then, one of the things that Mark leaves out is, in other synoptic gospels, Jesus picks up the ear and heals the man who had his ear cut off. But here, he simply says, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I was a rebel? I mean, except for the one time where Jesus zapped the fig tree, he's never struck anybody. He did drive the money changers and the, the animals out with a, quote, whip of cords. But that doesn't mean that he struck them. He overturned their tables. And he used the sound of the whip to drive the animals out of the temple. And the last line, the last little bit, uh, 51 and 52, a certain young man was following him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth. They caught hold of him, but he left the linen cloth and ran off naked. Now you note that there is no mark that's, a, that's an apostle. Mark is actually a friend of Peter's. And this last line here is supposed to be telling us that Mark witnessed this event. Mark is the young man that was following him. And he goes on to be with Peter to chronicle all of the things that Peter does. He's believed to be the author of the letters that Peter writes. So, it's not going to be a very exciting time for me to show you what it would be like to be a disciple back then. But, as a disciple, we got up this morning, because this is Wednesday. The, the scriptures we're reading are basically uh, condensed. Maudie Thursday, Good Friday's coming, etc., etc. But, in the life of Jesus during this Holy Week, today, he stays in Bethany on Wednesday. Um, in Mark, as opposed to in other Gospels, today is the day where he is feasting at the home of Simon the leper. So he went to Simon the leper's house and he, he feasted. And uh, he, he was a very cordial host. And this woman came with an alabaster jar filled with nard. And she broke it. And she anointed Jesus' head with this fragrant oil. And some of the guys, especially Judas, got really upset because that jar is probably worth a year's wages for a working person. But Jesus said to us that what she did was a good thing because she was preparing his body for burial. Not that... She was preparing him for burial, but preparing his body for burial. And Judas went away. I'm not sure why he went away. But went away, but when he came back, he seemed very excited. I'm wondering if this is when Judas went away and what he was doing when he was away. Anyway, not a whole lot is happening. But tomorrow. Tomorrow is we have the Feast of Unleavened Bread on Thursday. I'm very excited to have Passover with Jesus. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.